Hey guys, thank you so much for all of the love and support on our E3 video. Yeah, a lot of you said it was our most high effort video ever. So I thought, what better way to follow that up than with our lowest effort girlfriend review ever? Yeah, but you, you know I'm still gonna put a lot of effort into it. Watch this. I know, you can't help it. Girlfriend reviews is typically just done by me narrating off screen. And then I on the computer with the fart sounds. But the more requests we got for It Takes Two, we realized that just like playing It Takes Two, reviewing It Takes, takes two. two. Did you like that? I knew where she was going with that. That was pretty smart. People ask us all the time, what game should I play with my significant other? And the answer has always been pretty complicated because right. it matters what their video game experience level is. Uh-oh, I blew myself up by accident. What their favorite entertainment genre we is. We don't know you. But now the answer to that question is really easy. The answer is it takes two. It Takes Two is not only one of the best games to play with your significant other, but one of the best games to introduce someone to the wonderful world of gaming. So this isn't a girlfriend review of It Takes Two. This, this is, is a, a co-op review of It Takes Two. <laughs> takes two. This video was sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. We have some fun stuff to tell you about, so stick around to the end of the video to hear all about it. Shelby. Yes. Why don't you tell us what It Takes Two is about? Set it up. The year was 1948. Was it? No. The year was recently. There's a man and a woman, and they are married, but they are not happy. So one day they go to their daughter and they tell it's her, really Rose, mommy and daddy are getting a divorce. Okay. And then Rose, she runs up to her room and she grabs the little dolls that she made of her parents. This is the best part. And she goes, mommy, daddy, please just love each other. And then she cries, oh, and then her tears go into the dolls. And then we get a Freaky Friday on our hands. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. And it would have been nice if when she was so sad about her parents getting divorced that she cried onto like a Batman toy or something. The legend, the dark knight, the bat unleashes an ambush attack. <laughs> You know, or a race car. So their goal is to become human again. And their success is dependent not only on how well they can work together and resolve their differences, but how well you and player two can work together and resolve your differences. I think we should definitely try to shoot a pinky. No. I think we should. No, don't. Stop, let me shoot a pinky. No. Yes. No, how could oh, you? Oh, you can't, you're not allowed. See what you did. And that's why It Takes Two feels like it was made for couples like Matt and I. Actually, May and Cody kind of look like me and Shelby. That's true, they do. This Five. is straight up us, dude. That is us. Did they us. just make a game about the girlfriend reviews? <laughs> have the same glasses. <laughs> and sometimes they even acted like us. That's right. May loves to sing like me. Yeah, I'm gonna swing from this 45. <laughs> I've been shrunken down and knocked around and now I'm in a jukebox all over the town. Yeah. <laughs> and just like Matt, Cody loves to fart. <sighs> oh, I really should have skipped those beans. I don't know what was that. <laughs> and that plot about a bickering couple on the verge of divorce feels so immersive in It Takes Two because the gameplay makes you feel like a bickering couple on the verge of divorce. Ew. Oh my God, caterpillar foot massage, oh my God! Stop, you're ruining my massage. Oh yes, please don't stop. She loves it, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing about the gameplay is that for each level you have complementing abilities and while you're able to do some things on your own, most of the progressing through the level, you really need the other person to help you platform. It's like yin and yang. It's like yin and yang, right. Peaches and, and cream. And because you have... Cookies and milk. And because you have complementing abilities, it leaves a lot of room for tomfoolery. Something tells me I'm gonna have to throw a nail for you. See? Yeah. <laughs> that is so rude. How can I ever trust you? And the really fun thing about a lot of these activities is that they're not always skill-based. So even though Matt is obviously a better gamer than I am. Oh, bitch, that one popped on my, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> There were, Obviously. there were a lot of times where I might see the solution before he did to a puzzle. I know what to do. What? You need to make a path that leads on this wall to the thing and I'll oh, shoot Oh, you're here. so freaking smart. <laughs> Why are you so freaking smart all the time? I'm a genius. Okay, try it. 
Oh. Oh yeah. But over the course of the whole game are many other gameplay mechanics that you get to experience together. It's equestrian. Ow. <laughs> Mainly in the form of mini games where you're often pitted against each other in heated competition. No, no, no. That's so hard. And this is where you really get to show off your strengths and also reveal your weaknesses. For example, I'm pretty experienced with third person shooters, so obviously I crushed her in the snowball game. Come here, you. No. Oh, what? I'm, I'm crushing not you. At you anymore. <laughs> but when it came to the Guitar Hero rhythm mini game, I was confident I would win and discovered that Shelby wasn't lying. She really is really good at rhythm games. Wow, you kicked I, my ass. I destroyed Whoa. you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! I thought I did okay. Let's try it one more time. Oh, no. What do you mean, no? It's so fun. Damn it. You're really good at that. <laughs> And not only are there 25 mini games, in each level there's tons of interactive little things to do. It is crammed with a mind-boggling amount of devices and gadgets and toys that most people, even non-gamers, will recognize that they can then go play with and know exactly what to do. All right, are you ready? Yeah. You wanna go for a little ride here? Oh. Like Etch-a-Sketch, Crocodile Dentist, right. Rube Goldberg Machines. Making it accessible to people who may not be is familiar with games because they know how mm -hmm. to approach those things. And that is a genius and inclusive way to welcome non-gamers into the gaming world. Mm -hmm. Now that we've been over the story and the gameplay, let's discuss how those two things transcend your television wow. and make you feel exactly what the characters are going through. Almost exactly at the points in the level when May and Cody are bickering, you're doing gameplay that feels more competitive. And at the end, where it feels way more cooperative working against a boss. It's at that point when you really need to take everything you've learned about each other's abilities and there's no more goofing around. You gotta work together to succeed. And that is what May and Cody realize at the same time that the game forces you to realize that. Meaning that all that crazy, ever-changing gameplay is about the importance of listening to your partner, understanding your partner's needs, and identifying what qualities you possess to help your partner, which is the plot of the game as well. It's crazy. Yeah! yeah. Relationship needs communication, trust, taking an interest in each other, love and support. A great body. Right. Those are all of the things that you do in order to get through this game. That's why we're so thankful that Hazelight Studio is dedicating their time to making cooperative experiences like this. Blessed be thy Hazelight Studio. Thank you for thinking <laughs> of the little people who want to play co-op games with their significant other. Amen. And blessed be thy rocket mortgage for sponsoring this video. What if leveling up your finances was as fun to do as leveling up in video games? Now what if I told you it can be? By taking concepts you learn in video games, you can find ways to save enough money for like, I don't know, maybe a down payment on a house? Point systems, collecting achievements, co-op, Crushing your enemies are all valuable tools gamers can use to make their goals a reality. Listen, I'd love to tell you more about gamifying your finances, but if you want the details, you're gonna have to go listen to our interview with Gabe Bolt on the Rocket Learn YouTube channel. We talk about how we turn saving money into a game, our YouTube journey, and our goals for the future. Spoiler alert, it's a humongous backyard for our dogs and a nice patio in the sun for the cats. And a basement full of arcade cabinets. No, I And know every console. Mm. ever mm. and mm. every game mm. ever and a DDR pad. Oh, It was a lot of fun so please go check it out and let us know what you thought. There's a link in the description. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Thanks! Bye! Bye!